Steve Fried with Diabetes to Control, and we're here at the ACE meeting 2017 in Austin, Texas, and we have a special guest with us, Dr. Scott Isaacs, uh, who's presenting here. So maybe, Scott, you can just give us a little background of your type of practice. My name is Scott Isaacs, and I am an endocrinologist in Atlanta, Georgia. And I have a focus on obesity medicine, and I've been treating patients uh, for obesity for 20 years. And what, what panel are you moderating? So I'm moderating a topic of uh, weight loss in patients with diabetes and the differences and nuances uh, for patients uh, with type 1 diabetes versus type 2 diabetes. So maybe you can kind of give us what's the difference when it comes to treating obesity for type 1 and type 2. You know, in type 1 diabetes, um, there's a challenge when patients are losing weight because insulin has to be balanced uh, with the food that someone's eating. And so the, the biggest risk is hypoglycemia. And what's really interesting is that a lot of people think that insulin makes you gain weight. But it turns out that insulin works in the brain uh, to actually shut off appetite and to make you feel less hungry. And the weight gain that comes from insulin is primarily from low blood sugar and, and needing to eat when the blood sugar is low. And so if you can avoid low blood sugar as you're losing weight in type 1 diabetes, it makes your life so much easier. And so, for example, uh, many patients will need to reduce their long-acting insulin as well as their mealtime insulin as they lose weight. And it takes close work with an endocrinologist to get, the, to get it right, to get it balanced, to avoid problems when it, when it comes to weight loss. So obviously, when you're dealing with obesity and type 2, um, obviously you have some tips and things that you do for your patients. Maybe it's a little bit different than other family practitioners, not endocrinologists. And maybe you can give us some of those tips. So, so weight loss and type 2 diabetes is definitely a whole nother story. Um, first thing I would say is that the best possible treatment for type 2 diabetes is weight loss. There's all these medications, all these other things that you can take for diabetes, but the bottom line is that losing weight will do more than anything else. And so the first thing is that when we treat type 2 diabetes, we try to use medications that don't cause weight gain. There are classes of drugs. Uh, metformin is the most, most common, most popular medication that's used, but there are others as well uh, that can help with weight loss. And there are also diabetes medications that can cause weight gain. So those are the ones that you really want to avoid, if possible. Um, but, but the diabetes medications are not always uh, enough for, for patients to lose weight. I mean, these drugs are designed to help control blood sugar and, and weight is part of it. Uh, but now we also have a whole armamentarium of anti-obesity medications that can help with uh, reducing appetite, uh, reducing cravings, and enhancing satiety, that feeling of fullness when you eat. And that, in addition to the right kinds of medications for type 2 diabetes can be very effective for weight loss.